we never make this boat. Well, that's all right. So there's half an hour before we sail yet. Jack, let's go the bar and have a drink, Oh, it couldn't have been that bad. Well, Val, here's hoping you don't get any worse liquor over the other side. Thank you. Yeah. We had your luck, Val. Never been to Europe. Neither have I, and I'm going to have the grandest time. I'll bet you. Say, bring me back your hotel labels, will you, honey? They look swell on my suitcase. Okay. <laughs> You'll be missing the old newsletter after a while, Val. Listen here. Before this boat gets past the Statue of Liberty, I'll have forgotten there was ever such a thing as a newspaper in the world. Huh. And if it wasn't for the old newsletter, you wouldn't be having a vacation now, Val. And if it wasn't for me, the old newsletter wouldn't have the same circulation. <laughs> I wonder why the sales are dropped. Hey! <laughs> uh, Miss Lee? Yes, that's me. Thank you. Just put them over there, will you? Oh, who's the boyfriend there? What do you know about this? Listen, it's from Mike. Hope you have a grand vacation. See you before you sail, Mike. Now, that's darn nice of him. Yeah. I wonder what he wants. Well, Joe, you don't think... Oh, not even Mike would try to stop me now. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure. He's no different than any other editor. Oh! Oh, you're just trying to give me a scare. Hey, Stuart. Huh? Which is Miss Valerie Lee's cabin? Number 63, sir, down the corridor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be hearing from you, Val. Sure, I'll radio you a bedtime story every night. And then you can all read it to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Val. Oh, hello, Mike. I didn't hear you come in. Well, you were all making such a row. Thanks for the flowers. That was awfully nice of you. You're welcome. Say, haven't any of you got any work to do, or have you all retired? Okay, Mike, we'll go. See you in deck, honey. Okay. Make it snappy. Yeah. I guess you want to talk to her, eh? Well, that was the idea. <laughs> Bye. See you upstairs. Yeah. Well, Val, I guess you're glad to be off, huh? You bet I am. It's my first vacation for three years. You love England. Pinky says it's just grand. Pinky? Hmm. But I thought he was on a job. So he was. He was on that farming story, uh, comparing English and American methods. Good, then I'll be seeing him in London. Uh, unless he's already finished by the time I get there. He hasn't even started. Why not? Well, Val, you see, he broke his leg. Oh, what a shame. How'd he do that, Mike? He didn't say. Celebrating a birthday, I guess. But you know, I've, uh, I've got to find someone else to do that job. Now, listen here, Mike. If you think I'm going to lose my vacation after all you this time... You won't lose I... it, Val. You can have that afterward. Nothing doing. But, Val, I'll pay you double. Nope. I'll give you a bonus. Uh, that'll pay for your vacation. But, Mike, I'm a Broadway gossip writer. What do I know about farming? That doesn't matter. Pinky's got everything all lined up for you. Sure. I've cabled it. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. You were pretty sure I'd do it, weren't you? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Val, you do it for me. Okay. And I'm going to do something else when I get to London. What's that? Break Pinky's other leg. What? Oh. <laughs> now, look here. I'm here as a nurse, not as a companion. Why don't you give up nursing and stick to the companionship stuff? Oh, no, thank you. Are you quite comfortable? Uh, my, my pillow needs putting straight. But I just straightened it. Well, uh, it needs putting crooked or something. Don't be silly. Is your leg pain? No, only my heart. Well, if there's something wrong with your heart, don't you think you'd better tell the doctor? I'd rather tell you. Now, really... <laughs> Sorry, if I've called at the wrong time, I'll be on my way. Well, hello, Val. Where did you spring from? Straight off the Atlantic. Good afternoon. Well, I see you're more like yourself again. Yeah, all except my leg. What'd you do? Break it purposely? As if I would. Well, I thought maybe you had a date with her and broke your leg so you could keep it. I never saw it till I came in here. Well, what did you break it for? To spoil my holiday? Gee, Val, I'm sorry. Mike cabled me that you were taking over, but he didn't tell me you were on a holiday. Still, you like Europe. You know. There are more stories going on in Europe now than in all of the USA. Well, I wasn't looking for stories. I wanted a holiday and some peace. Well, you'll find no peace in Europe, not this side of Judgment Day. Come on now, <laughs> tell me, how did you break your leg? Well, I was out with some friends, and we had just finished feeding the lions in Trafalgar Square when one of them suggested that we should take a dip in one of the fountains. So I started off with my well-known swimming hole jump and uh, broke my leg. You see, we hadn't noticed that the fountains had been drained. Just one of those little things. <laughs> I believe every word of it, I don't think. 
Now, let's get down to brass tacks, Pinky. I've got to write a lot of stuff on farming. English farming, the trouble is that I don't know anything about it. I've dug all my dirt on Broadway. Why, I've never even seen a farm. Now, look here, Val. You're talking like a ham. A journalist doesn't think what he's writing about. He just writes. Yes, I know. I learned that by reading some of your stuff. Now, look here. I've fixed everything for you. I've made a dinner date at the Hotel Metropolitan. All the English press men that can help. All right. When's the date? Tonight, 7.30. They know what you've got to write about. Oh, well, that's more than I know. Yes, you'll find all you want in that. The Annals of British Farming. Boy, I bet it's a thriller. <laughs> Do I have to read all that? No, but I have, though. I've marked all the important things. Ah, oh, thanks, Pinky. That's nice of you. Oh, by the way, I brought you these. Oh, roses. My mother's favorite flower. Say, next time you come, bring me water lilies or perfume or anything you want, but don't bring any liquor. It's forbidden here. Yes, that's what I heard. That's why I brought you this. Oh, Val, you're a real sea girl, and I'd like to kiss you. If you do, I'll break your other leg. Anything else I can do to annoy you before I go? Yes, yeah, send my nurse in again. I feel she should take my temperature. Okay, thank you. When it gets to 101, sell. Now. I was afraid so. Miss Lee said she was very worried about you. What? She thought your nurse was too young and inexperienced. So I'm taking over myself. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just a pain in the neck. Find the book, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. My keys, please. Two, four, three. Oh, yes, ma'am. Has my luggage gone up? Oh, yes, madam, but the maid hasn't unpacked as you didn't leave your keys. That's all right. Thank you. No, I'm afraid you have the wrong room. This isn't Lord Wilmer's room. It's all right. Give me the key to 243. The lady has it, sir. What lady? The American lady, Miss Barry Lee. Why do you give this home to an American lady? It is the home that Lord Wilmer always has when he stays here. And do you know he's coming tonight? Well, I'm sorry, sir. Well, sir, couldn't Lord Wilmer have number 253? It's just as good a room, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind. No, but I do. He is a regular customer. This American lady, we may never see her again. You tell her to move. Very good. No, no. I will tell her myself. Come in. Good afternoon, madame. Good afternoon. I see you are all unpacked. Yes. That is a pity. Why? They have made a mistake. They are very stupid. They have given you the wrong room. Oh, don't apologize. This is quite all right. But I have a much better room for you, and I would like you to have it. Oh, that's very nice of you, but I'm quite content here. I'll stay here. But uh, there is a mistake. Uh, this room is always given to Lord Wilmer when he is here. Oh, I see. Who is this Lord Wilmer, anyway? From a very old family, a member of the House of Lords, and he always stops here when he is in London. I know, but look, after all, I'm all unpacked. I yes, mean, it's... But, madame, uh, I will see to that. The maid will move your things in one minute. Don't tell me now, but where are you going to put me? Out on the fire escape? Oh, but, madame, of course not. But you see, Lord Wilmer likes this room because it is very quiet. All right, all right, all right. Give it to Lord Wilmer. Thank you very much indeed, That's madame. That's all right. I will send the maid to you. Thank you. Hello? No, this is not Lord Wilmer. Try the House of Lords. I see Lord Wilmer. Lord Wilmer. I see Lord Wilmer. Lord Wilmer. I see Lord Wilmer. Lord 
Wilma. What is it you want? His parcel stuff for Lord Wilma. Well, why don't you take it up to his room? Have you no sense? And where are your gloves? Here, sir. Well, put them on then. Hello, Paul. How's things? Oh, very good, thank you, sir. Uh, you are dining here tonight? Well, that rather depends upon Lord Wilma. Uh, tell me, is he about? Uh, he's not down yet, sir. Uh, take Sir Richard to his lordship's room. Uh, that's all right. That's enough of that. You can tell his lordship you'll find me in the cocktail bar eating cherries off the stick. Well, what are you waiting for? Quick, quick. Silly fellow. There's no way. No, sir. Lord Wilmer. Give it to me. I'll see his lordship receives it. Yes, uh, and Sir Richard said he'd be in a cherry bar eating cocktails off a stick. Sir Richard who? No, not Sir Richard. Oh, Sir Richard Swingleton, I think. All right, I'll give his lordship the message. Yeah, and give him the parcel as well. I'll give you something. Oh, thank you, sir. And do your buttons up, man. Blimey, I don't seem to be a success anywhere. What was that, Harcastle? A parcel, my lord, and a message. Oh, good. I know what that is. Swine fever. It's cause and cure. Oh, God, I've got it. Swine fever, my lord? No, no. You've pulled the book. Oh. I don't like the look of that last letter of Black Derbyshire's at all. I don't think Higgs knows anything about it. I'm going to read that up for myself. What was the message? Uh, that Sir Richard Swingleton is to be found in the cocktail bar, my lord. Ah. I'd never find him anywhere else but in a cocktail bar. Well, I suppose I'll have to go and dig him out. Your digging him out of bars, my lord, generally means he's digging you in. That's very true, Hardcastle. Unless I don't come to London very often, and I'm returning very shortly, another little drink won't do me any harm. Does that mean, my lord, that we are returning to the hall in the near future? Yes, Hardcastle. I'm not in love with London. Glad to get back to Mrs. Hodges, eh? <laughs> well, my lord. <laughs> well, you're not a bad judge. I think I'll pick her with her. Good evening, how are you? Very well. Yes, yes. Hello, Tuffy. Evening, Joe. Evening, my lord. No, you got my message, then? Yes, you're getting a bad habit. Our cousin says you're leading me astray. Oh, got to look after the country cousin while he's up in town. Well, sure, just as much a country cousin as I am. Or you would be if you looked after your place as well as I do mine. I tell Jeff, I pay people to do these things for me. I'm not like you, doing honest fellows out of a job. Do you know I've even seen him thatching his own ricks? Oh, the only <laughs> time I've ever seen you in the fields is when the workers' beer arrives. Ah, well, now, talking about beer, we're wasting valuable drinking time. Are you going to have martini? Please. My last chance. I'll go back tomorrow. Why don't you come to Latouke with me? Can't spare the time. You are dining here this evening? Yes, too. No, I don't think so. Let's go to a cabaret. This place is so quiet. Get you up here. Of course you Excuse can. Excuse me, well, no. No shit that back to me. What's that? One of ours? Oh, I hope not, sir. <laughs> Miss Lee, can I just have another one? Of course. That's got it, that's grand. Well, I'd better get these back to the office. Good night. Good night. And I've got to get back to Fleet Street, too. And me. Good yes, night. I know that newspapers have to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> well, uh, I'm through for the day, and I haven't got to go to bed now. Uh, what about showing you a little bit of London by night? Oh, but I still have work to do some other time, maybe. Oh. You know what the last night on a boat is. I haven't been to bed yesterday yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, good night. So oh, nice to have met you all. Thanks for coming. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, if you fancy a cabaret, you run along. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, I'll dine quietly here and go to bed, I think. Yes, well. Jules. Lord Wilmer's dining alone. Get him a table for one now. Right, what? Good night. This way, my lord. Oh, just a minute, Jules. I am. I want to make a telephone call. Well, and how's the loveliest cloud of them all? Oh, blooming for Richard, thank you. Good. Tell me, have you got, um... Carnation? No, no, just a match. Oh, certainly. Thank you. Put me through to 253, will you? I want to speak to Miss Lee. Yes, my lord. Well, say, boy, that's a quick dinner. You'll give yourself indigestion. Well, you'll give anybody a pen. <laughs> Why don't you go away? Same reason as you do. Come on, Miss Tosper. Your call, Lord. Oh, is it? Head. So. Both sides.
Hello? Yes, Miss Lee speaking. I say, I'm downstairs in the hotel, and I just wondered whether you happen to be lonely and would care to come out and dance somewhere. Well, who is it speaking? Do I know you? Well, no, but I'd like to know you. <laughs> My name's... Mud. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know you and I don't want to know you. And much more, I'm busy. Good night. Now, where was I? Well, did you make a date? Well, no, not definitely. She, she's very tired after the voyage. But, my dear fellow, she's awfully nice. I'll be seeing her tomorrow. Well, will you? You bet your life. Well, if she won't come out with you tonight, I suppose it's no good my time. <laughs> not a bit. Why don't you change your mind? Come out with me. All right, I will. If you stay here, I, I'll go and get my hat. Look, well, it's your man to bring you down. No, I can't. It's, it's night off. Shall be long. All right. So sorry you've been troubled in. Lord, would you like to put one over on Sir Richard? Pardon my saying so, but nothing would give me greater pleasure. I thought so. Well, there's a young American lady in room number 253. With whom you would like to establish contact? Certainly, my lord. Leave it entirely in my hands. Has Sir Richard got ahead of you? Well, he telephoned her, but I rather think she cut him off. Oh, infantile technique. I'm surprised at Sir Richard. Now, uh, <clears throat> if I might just draw a pound or two from the petty cash, lord. There you are. Thank you. Um, it is fortunate that we know the lady's nationality. Does that make any difference? Certainly, my lord. The psychological difference in nationalities is more strongly marked in women than in men. And American ladies, we flatter ourselves, we do know how to handle. I love it. Well, there's a lovely bathing pool there. I'll take it down one day. Oh, thanks awfully. I want uh, two dozen red carnations. Best you have. Two dozen? It's just what I've got. Hello, Hardcastle. Ah, Richard. What are you doing? Visiting the old dead in hospital on your night off? Uh, the dead left hospital some years ago, Sir Richard, for an unknown destination. I see. Just uh, brightening the room up for Lord Wilmer. Yes, Sir Richard. How much is that? You might tell his lordship that I'm still waiting for his hat and my dinner, would you? Uh, certainly, Sir Richard. Yes, by the way, I... Might as well have one of those to uh, brighten myself up a bit, don't you think? You might put me through to room 253 again, will you? Miss Lee. That's right. Very good, Sir Richard. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Miss Lee speaking. Who is it now? It's uh, Lord Wilmer. I said, won't you change your mind and come out and dance somewhere? Yes, Sir Lord Wilmer. Lord Wilmer? Well, I don't care if you're the Lord Chancellor. I don't know you and I don't want to know you. And besides, I'm sick and tired of hearing your name. I say, what a pity now. And I've just sent my men up to your room with some carnations. Well, if you don't stop pestering me, you're going to need some lilies. Hello, reception. I don't want to be disturbed any more tonight. I'm busy, so don't put any more calls through. That's right. Thank you. Come in. <coughs> Lord Wilbur presents his compliments, Miss Lee, and hopes he may have the pleasure of returning the hospitality you so kindly showed him in uh, New York. New York? Sure, you haven't forgotten it. Oh, of course, how stupid of me. Uh, he was travelling incognito. Oh, incognito. And what name was he travelling under? Would it be Smith? Smith. Oh, and would the first name be John? John. <laughs> yes, it usually is. I stupidly forgot to ask his lordship the exact name. <laughs> yes, that was rather stupid. But uh, roughly speaking, you think it was John Smith. Oh, yes, I'm sure it was John Smith. <laughs> His Lordship hopes you will do him the honour of meeting him again this evening. Oh, now that's very kind of his Lordship. And are you going to take him my answer? Uh, yes. Very well, you shall have it. Lord, 
I've resigned. Oh, my lord. That Miss Lee. Mm-hmm. One of that kind, is she? Well, you better come and sit down and tell me all about it. Oh, no, my lord. I, I couldn't sit down. Why not? You've resigned? Oh, it isn't that, my lord. Uh... Oh, I see. Well, talk while you're standing up. Tell me. What did she say? She called you an arrogant, conceited, nitwitted playboy. Is that all? No, my lord. She said things about the House of Lords and suggested what you could do with your coronet. Did she say anything else? No, my lord. That's where the dialogue ceased and the action started. Well, I got rather tired of waiting, so I thought I'd come and help you find your hat. Well, Scott, what's happened to you? Oh, he, he just fell down. Fell down? Fell down what? Uh, uh, the lift, Sir Richard. Uh, the gates were open and I just um, uh, fell. I see. Well, I wonder what's happened to that little American girl. What little American girl? But the one we admired so much in the lounge. Oh. No, oh, I don't know. I've forgotten about her. Probably gone to bed, I see. Yes, I dare say. Well, coming to eat? No, no, I don't think so. Not hungry. But you offered your food. Well, 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 I'm certainly not off mine. Oh, I say, hard gas for better than flowers. What you got there, hard A souvenir from your American lady, my lord. Annals of British farming? She's interested in farming, is she? Yeah, what's this? Hassetang, average, acreage. She must be one of those land girls. I wish I'd found that out before. Interview, small farmer. Yeah, wait a minute. You and I are going to show this girl where she gets off. How, in my lord? How? Well, you go straight down to Charlton and make the arrangements. What arrangements, my lord? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, get hold of Mrs. Hodges. you British are slow. Is he a small farmer? Well, he's about six feet. Shall I put him full? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I I'll be down. Tell him I'll be right down. Thank you. Miss Lee will be down in a moment. Would you care to wait here, Mr. Hodges? Thank you, sir. Well, do I look all right? Yes, my lord. You look like a real farmer in fancy dress. Oh, not as bad as that, I hope. And don't call him a lord. Ah, I forgot. It is so difficult to remember to forget. Don't forget to remember that my name's Hodges and I'm a farmer from Kent. Yes. Oh, and if Sir Richard asks where I am, tell him I've gone to Scotland for a week. You are going on the farm with the lady today? Yes. I'm, I'm rather looking forward to it. Good morning. Morning. I beg your pardon. Are you Mr. Hodges? Yes. You're not Miss Lee, are you? Why not? Well, you look quite nice here. Well, I suppose fine fellows make fine birds. You've been melting a bit this morning, though, haven't you? Well, you're not very flattering. Well, I haven't come here to talk about your looks. I've come here to talk about my farm. Shall we sit down? Yes. And do you think you can help me, Mr. Hodges? Yes, if you'd like to come stay on my farm and... Live as we do, go around a bit, at least you know what you were writing about. Well, that's very nice of you. Can you put me up? I'll give you the grandest bedroom we ever saw. Are you married? No, but there's my aunt, Mrs. Hodges. she give you a grand welcome. I talked about the idea before I came down this morning. Where is your farm? Sarton in Kent. Finest farming land in England. Well, it sounds grand. Tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you're ready, I'll take you down. I've got the car to the back entrance. Oh, that's very nice of you, but I'll have to pack a few things. All right. Put some proper shoes in. Those won't be any good to you. How long will you be? Only a few minutes. By the way, you'd better give me the address. Well, what do you want to know for? I'm driving you there. Yes, I know. But I mean for forwarding on my mail. Oh, I see. It's Thatcher's Farm, Charlton Kent. Thatcher's Farm, Charlton Kent. I won't be very long. Oh, you got to start again? 
Well, it's a bit of a job, my lord. I suppose it will get me there. Well, I should say it's about a 50-50 chance. After all, she hasn't been on the road for ten years. I know, that's why I picked her out. Okay, don't forget to send the road back to Tartan Hall and charge it to my account. Very good, my lord. Uh, let's have another go, shall we? away for a few days. Here are my keys and uh, this will be my address. Oh, thank you, Miss Lee. Shall I forward your mail? Yes, please. Oh, would you like a taxi, madam? Uh, no, thank you. I've got a car um, at the back entrance. Uh, this oh. way, madam. Oh, thank you. Very good, madam. Oh. Um, that'll be all. Thank you very much. You can just leave the bag there. Thank you. Is that the car? Yes. Wonderful car, this. You'd never believe how old she is. I guess I would. Does a bit of everything. Down on the farm, she even does a bit of fashion. She seems to be doing a bit now. Well, jump in. Oh, all right. This will be fun. After all, it's what you do every day. Yes. Oh, well, we're just going to start. Hold tight. Why? Well, you, you want to stop in, don't you? Well... Any other one? Don't worry, something. Oh, coming up better. Better than better than the aerial. We've got the milk for a car. I'm getting plenty of exercise. What? Exercise. Plenty of it. Oh, go to the liver. What? Liver. Good point. Mine doesn't seem to think so. What? His lordship would stoop to that sort of thing. Yes, but this isn't that sort of thing. Well, if it isn't, what sort of thing is it in the name of all that's daft? Bringing a young lady down to this old place, kidding her that he's Bill Hodges and that I'm his aunt when I'm his housekeeper. If that isn't daft, I'd like to know what it is. It's revenge, that's what it is, for her being so rude to me. Well, I don't blame her for that. There are times when I'd like to be rude to you, and I have to call him Bill. What would my ancestors that have served his ancestors say if they could hear me? They'd say you were right for doing as you were told. Yes, I've been told so many things, I can't remember them all. I've got to engage servants that don't know him so that they won't be touching their hats and calling him my lord. Well, I've engaged them. Yes, you have. All the village idiots for miles around and I've got to work alongside of them. Where are they now? Upstairs, both of them making the bed. Hi, you there. Stop whatever you're doing and come down here. Have you told them what they're to do? I have not. You can do that, Mr. Hardcastle, and welcome from me. I'm going to change. What the dickens is the matter with her now? She's probably died of old age. Not she. I'm very fond of this car. What are you going to do now? Give her a kiss? I think I brought my torch with me. It's a pity you didn't bring a car. Will it be a very long job? Sorry, maybe. Uh, I'll be glad if it is. It'll give me a chance to rest and get over my travel sickness. Mmm, don't hurry on my account. The view's lovely from here. How's it with you? There. That's the tea laid. Yes, that ought to be laid out and given a decent funeral. Fancy offering a young lady kippers and jam. Yes, but that's part of the plot. We're taming her. Well, I wish you could stay to give me a helping hand, you know, leaving me to do everything. Yes, but she knows me by sight. If she saw me, she'd guess the rest. I 
don't like it. Now, it's for my sake as well, Annie. Yes, that only makes it worse. Serves you right, too, taking our roses in the middle of the night. Now, now, Annie, you know what I think of you. You'll know what I think of you in a minute. Oh, very well. I'd better get back to the hall and make everything comfortable for his lordship. His lordship. And I've got to call him Bill. <laughs> yes, Bill. No, you... Uh, Bill. Certainly. Bill. Oh, yes, Bill. No. Bill? Uh, yes. Uh, Bill? Uh, Bill. No, Bill. Certainly, Miller. Um, Bill. Isn't this lovely? Or do slow down a bit. So this is an English country village. I've often seen pictures of them, but I had no idea they were this beautiful. This is Charlton Village. Is it? We're nearly there. Oh, good. You feel those salt cellars? Aye. Oh, get your apron straight. Here they are. Where? Do you think it advisable to leave this so near the rest of that junk? Oh, that's all right. Nobody to take it away. I was afraid of that. Oh, it's lovely here. I'm going to have the time of my life. I hope so. Hello, here's Aunt. Hello, Auntie, darling. Oh, my Lord. My goodness. What have you been up to, what? Bill? Oh, never mind that. This is Miss Lee. She's going to spend a few days with us. How do you do? Oh. Nice to thank you, Miss. I expect you're hungry after your drive. Oh, I enjoyed the drive. But I won't say that a little dinner won't be very welcome. What, dinner, this hour? Oh, down here we have our dinner middle day. Oh, then, uh... It's high tea, now. High tea? Whatever's that? Oh, you'll find out when you see it, won't you, Auntie? Yes. Well, now you get along. i just got to unload these things. No, 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 Joe will do that. Joe? Yes, Joe. Joe! Nice day, isn't it? Joe? Uh... <coughs> well, Hardcastle seems to have told you all about it. Yes, but I must say I don't approve of such goings-on. Ah, but you're going to help me, aren't you? Those are your instructions, my lord. Now, now don't be a fool, aren't you? And don't call me my lord. Well, don't call your auntie a fool. <laughs> That's one up to you. I know you won't let me down. Come on. <sighs> this way for high tea. Auntie, I expect Miss Lee'd like a wash before she sits down. Yes, I would like to wash when I go upstairs. What's the matter with the sink? The sink? Yes, I'll leave you half the tile dry. Oh, that's nice of you, thanks. Well, I suppose in London you dress for dinner. Yes, we do. Well, in the country we undress for tea, yes, girl. This is Miss Lee. Be she? I like your hat. You must look after her. Well, what she wants. You can take her case to her room. I'm agreeable. It's a nice case, too. Well, take it. Well, take this. I do. How do you do? Yes, yeah, she's a good girl. One of the best we've got. She looks it. So? Thanks. I suppose you all must work very hard here. Oh, yes, rather. Want these? No, thanks. Oh, put them down, shall we? Oh, no, Auntie, what about tea? It's all ready, uh, uh, Bill. Oh, and am I ready for it. So this is what you call high tea. Well, it certainly looks good. Yes, it looks good. Uh, have a pickle onion. No, thanks. Well, what about getting our teeth into it? Where are the others? 
Shall I call them? Yes, of course. They want their grub, same as we do. Joe! Emma! What have you start with, Auntie? Kippers. Kippers, good. You like kippers, Miss Lee? Well, I've heard of them, of course, but I've never tasted them. Oh, you'll taste these, all right. Here, have two. Oh, no, one of them can't taste. Oh. Oh, all right. No, don't take his hat off. He's got a cold. Please, Miss Lee? Yes, please. Is uh, that tea? Yes, very good tea, that. Made for yesterday's breakfast. Been on the hob ever since. Thank you. Have a slice of ham with those kippers. Very good ham, this. Came off Margaret, our favourite sire. She was 14 years old. Of course, she'd have lived another five if it hadn't been for the fever. Well, any more for any more? Is there any more? No. Oh. Then I'm off. And me. Do I have an oil lamp in my bedroom? I'm afraid I won't be able to manage it. Oh, don't you worry. You'll have a candle. Oh. Will you take me around the farm tomorrow morning and explain everything to me? Yes, if you're up in time. Don't worry. I'll be up in time, all right. I'm always up by 7.30. 7.30? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll be listening to her. 7.30. We've done most of the hard work by then. What time do you start? 5.30. Never later. Summer or winter. Oh. That means getting up at five. Well, say a quarter to five. Oh, I suppose that's too early for you. I know you newspaper people, you like to write about things from here, sir. You haven't got the guts to get up and go and see for yourself. Haven't got enough guts. Can somebody call me at 4.30? Uh, well, I, I... We'll give her the alarm clock. I'll set it for you at a quarter to five. <laughs> if you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed now. I'll show you to your room. Thank you, Mr. Cosby. I hope you'll be comfortable here, miss. Yes, uh, I hope so. Oh, is that my bath? Yes, I shall leave it where it is, though. Why? Well, it looks like rain. You'll need it to catch the drips. Now, I'll set this thing. Oh, what do I have to do with it? Well, you don't have to do anything. Nice, merry little kick, isn't it? Never feel lonely with that beside your bed. No. Well, I'll say good night. If you're not warm enough, uh, put your coat on the bed. Good night. I'll see you at dawn. Well, I'll say good night, too, miss. If you hear a tapping on the window, don't get scared. It'll only be the bat trying to get in. Is that all? Good night, Miss. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Miss. Well, I'm off to the hall in a comfortable bed. Well, I don't like it, my lord. It's not what your father would have done. Well, but my father never met a girl like Miss Lee. And in his days, young ladies didn't throw things about when they got annoyed. Such a nice young lady, too. I quite agree with you, but we're going to make a nicer still between us. Well, if it's so good for her, why don't you stay here? We've got another leaky bedroom and hard bed. Ah, oh, but I don't need reforming. Good night, Auntie. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, my lord. We haven't been introduced, but I am awfully glad of your company. Quarter past five. Then what time do you want, Gordon? Quarter to five. And am I to call him, Lord? Well, of course, we haven't got another alarm clock. Yes, but we wanted her to suffer. It doesn't seem so funny this way. Anyway, a cup of tea at a quarter to five. A cup of tea? Then I'm to get up before she does.
Five o'clock, my lord. Go away. But, my lord. Go away, I'm going to sleep. But, my lord, you asked me to call you. I'll call you something if you don't go away. But, Miss Lee, my lord. Miss Lee, why on earth didn't you call me? What clothes, my lord? Same as yesterday. Oh, yes, I know. The ratting costume. Good morning, Miss. I was just coming to call Good you. Good morning. Am I late? No, early. I was wondering if your nephew was waiting for me. No, I'm waiting for him. What? Isn't he up yet? Is that his room? I'll call him. No, uh, yes. Well, uh, he's not there yet. He'll be back by the time you have a cup of tea. Oh, all right. Good morning, Emma. Emma, the lady said good morning. Well, I can see it being raining. Oh. You mustn't mind it, Miss. Mind her? I love her. I'm going to get a grand story out of all this. There. Oh, thank you. Mmm, what good tea. Especially for you. Then the other wasn't made specially for me? Oh, yes. Yes, it was, Miss. I wonder where um, Bill is. Good morning. Good morning. Sleep well? Grand. What? You're a bit late. Oh, oh, I've been up for hours. Uh, have a cup of tea with uh, Bill? No, no time for tea. Lots of food. Back for breakfast, aren't you? Uh, 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 what do you want for breakfast? Oh, uh, cold boiled mutton and poached eggs. I'll just take the poached eggs, if you don't mind. <laughs> now, you want to know something about farms? Well, these were the chickens. Well, I didn't think they were dogfish. That's Susie. <laughs> Funny, I thought it was a cow. Well, I don't know. You may have different names of things in America. You call tomatoes, tomatoes, petrol, gas. Full sap. Go on. Go now. Down the other side. Oh, well, it was worth it anyway. Look at that lovely view. Mmm, and the coloring is beautiful. Yes, nothing artificial about that. Does all this belong to Thatcher? Oh, Brad Scott, now. We've only got a few acres. This is all the Charton estate. Oh, what's that big place over there? Charton Hall. Oh, who lives there? My landlord. Mmm, lucky man. What's his name? Lord Wilmer. Lord Wilmer? Yes, why, do you know? No, I've never set eyes on him. But he tried to make a date with me in London. Is there any harm in that? No, there's no harm in it, only it was the way he went about it. I suppose because I'm an American, he thought I'd fall for a title. Well, he's a good landlord. And so he should be. Why should he be a landlord? He's only where he is because his ancestors did something that other people would be ashamed of. Oh, come now, he's not as bad as that. Well, let's not talk about it. No, I'd only be better. Come on. Delighted, miss. Yes, but nearly finished. Have you ever seen yourself in print, Mrs. Hodges? No, I've always kept respectable. <laughs> well, you're going into print right now. A life-size pen portrait of the ideal farmer's wife. Damn. Hello, Bill. Look. What was the name of those pigs you showed me the day before yesterday? Oh, that depends which one you mean. The little black one that goes... <coughs> that's Susie. The one with the extra knot in her tail that goes... <coughs> that's Minnie. I don't want to meet them socially. Oh, I see. You mean what, what breed of pig? Has he always been like that, Mrs. Hodges? Well, uh, yes, and, um, no. Do you really want to know the name of those pigs? 
What pigs? Oh, those. Oh, they are two paragraphs behind. Dead as bacon. I say this is really good. Huh? Of course. I'm paid to be good, didn't you know? No, I didn't mean that. I mean, you understand the point of view of the farmer so well. Perhaps you've helped me to see it that way. You really mean that? Of course I do. You've been terribly kind. Funny, and at first I didn't think you liked me. I didn't like you, I... Well, oh, sorry. I finished for today now. Let's go out and get some air. Anything new? Yes, a calf. Just arrived this morning. A calf? Oh, let me see it. Let's give it a name. I have. Battery. How about when it grows up? When it Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Hello, Joe. How's Daisy? That's the mother of the car. Doing well. Both doing well. I'm surprised I am with the name you tacked onto it. Valentine. That ain't no calf. That's a letter without a stamp on it, that is. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's, uh... Oh, that's just one of the landlords around here. You, uh... You wouldn't like it. Hello, Bill. You're a long way from Scotland. Yes, and you're a mile or two from the 2K yourself. Why are you down here? Well, uh, partly because I live here and, uh... Principally because I'd rather like an introduction to Miss Lee. Now, look here, Tuffy, play the game. You? Well, of course, my dear old fellow. What, what is the game? Well, uh, what do you got up as? My name's Hodges. Not a small farmer. <laughs> now, now, don't give me away. <laughs> All right. Good. But uh, it'll cost you that introduction. Now, look here, dear. All right, Hodges, my man, but don't let it happen again. How are you? How do you do? Oh, Miss Lee, this is Sir Richard Swingleton. Delighted. <laughs> Are you uh, interested in farming? Yes, I'm studying it just now. Really? Oh, well, you ought to come over to my place. Uh, I've got a model farm, you know, not a lot of dilapidated, tumble-down shacks like this. Oh, well, I'm only interested in the smaller farms. Oh, but I can show you half a dozen small farms. Yes, uh, my place adjoins Lord Wilmer's. Lord Wilmer's? Yes. I hope he's no friend of yours. Personally, I've got no time for him. Drink, gambling, women. Women? Yes, he's always up in town knocking round after girls, and when he isn't doing that, he's kicking his valley. Don't, don't, don't you have anything to do with him? Don't worry, I don't intend to. Uh, uh Hodges, uh, you might uh, go and put some water in the radiator of my car, would you? Yes, sir. And um, are you enjoying yourself down here, Miss Oh, Lee? I'm having a grand time. It's so different from New York today. Yes, I suppose so, yes. You must find this little house very different from the skyscrapers. Indeed, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it must seem a great change. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'm passionately fond of the country myself. You know, there's always something to amuse you. Well, I really would like you to see my place. Uh, won't you run over now? Well, I'm awfully sorry, but I, I must go down to the post office. Well, that's easy. We pass it on the way. Oh. All right, then. Thank you very much. I'll give you some tea. Thank you. Aren't you coming to see the calf, Miss Lee? Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. I'd forgotten. Oh, you can see that later on. Uh, by the way, um, Hodges, I must get my man to send you over some more of my old clothes. Um, I've got an old overcoat to uh, make a fine shooting jacket for you. Then you'll only want a gun, a dog, and a rabbit, and you'll be complete. I've got a gun. Uh, again, I'll hop in, Miss uh, Lee. I rather think you'll like this bus, Miss Lee. Lovely engine, absolutely silent. He's ready. Where's Miss Lee? I'll have tea with Sir Richard. Wondered what he came for. You know, I'm beginning to think this idea of mine isn't so clever after all. I well, never thought it was, my lord. Well, it seemed rather fun in the beginning. Why don't you tell her the truth before it's too late? Well, how can I now? Break it to her gently. I know. Take her up to Charlton Hall tomorrow. Well, tell her it's mine and... Oh, she hates Lord Wilmer. I think she's beginning to like Bill Hodges. Do you really? Well, I hope, but... Well, there's only one way you can find out for certain. You mean, propose to her? That's what young men used to do in my time. So we're going to call on the House of Lords while it isn't sitting, huh? 
Oh, Charlton's a grand place. I think you'll love it. I wonder what this Wilmer person would say if he finds out. Oh, that's all right. His butler gave him permission. Oh. Nice fellow. I know him rather well. Hello there. Oh, I wonder what he wants. Well, let's find out. Hello. Hodges, oh, take my mare, will you? I think you'd better walk her. I don't want her to catch cold. And uh, what were you going to do if I hadn't turned up? We were going to go there. Hodges, I thought I told you to walk this mare about. That's too fool the fellow is, you know. Well, I haven't found him so. He was just going to take me over to Charton Hall. Charton? Yes. Oh, he knows the butler there and, and got his permission. <laughs> that, that, that's funny. That's really, really funny. <laughs> this is going to be funnier still. You uh, wouldn't care to go riding with me instead? No, thank you. Some other time, perhaps. Did you ever find out what was wrong with your car? Oh, yes, I found out. It has to take a week to put right. So that's why you're riding today? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm very fond of horses. I was uh, brought up amongst them, you know. Well, as a matter of fact, you, uh... <laughs> you hardly ever see me out of the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> James, what are you doing here? Why haven't you taken the afternoon off? Mr. Priest said, Mr. Hardcastle, that one of us had better stay behind in case you should be wanting anything. His lordship was most particular that all of you should have the afternoon off. You don't want to be told twice, do you? No, Mr. Hardcastle. Very well, then off you go. Don't let me see you hanging around this farmhouse house again. Well, there it is. Oh, it's marvelous. Come on, I'll show you the gardens first. What a lovely little bridge, Bill. It's the most enormous home. Well, here we are, one of the stately homes of England. Gee, it's well. But it looks awfully deserted. Well, all the staff have gone on holiday. That's how I got permission to look over the place. What have they got a holiday for? Well, I told you, Lord Wilmer's not such a bad chap. He often gives him a break when he's not in, in, in residence. Oh. Let's go in here. All right. Isn't this grand? Wouldn't you love to live in a place like this? Yes. Must be very nice. Oh, and look at all those portraits. I guess they're of former earls or something, huh? Yes. That's the second earl. He abducted a roundhead's daughter and married her and made her very happy. But six months afterwards, his father-in-law came after him with three other roundheads. Well, he killed the three men all right, but he wouldn't touch the old man, who promptly ran him through the middle. Mmm, nice work. Yes, nice chap. That's the third earl. Now, this fellow was the fifth earl. He was a bit of a devil. What an extraordinary thing. Bill, he looks quite like you. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose he does. Well, as a matter of fact, I... I... Who on earth can that be? Well, probably some more people to look over the place. Come on, we better go. Why? We've got permission. Yes, but only from his butler. If Lord Wilmer gets to hear about this, the poor chap may get the sack. But surely Lord Wilmer would now, understand. please don't argue. Well, where are we going to go? In there, quickly, please. Yeah, quickly, this door here. Well, where are you going to put me? Come on, let's... Stay in there and keep quiet. Well, where are you? Where you are, young fellow. Didn't you hear us? Yes, only just this moment, sir. Good afternoon. Really? Huh? Oh, I must apologize for my clothes. I've been down with a sick pig. Oh, well, we nearly gave it up as a bad job and went away. Oh, what a pity. Richard said you'd give us tea. Oh, he did, did yes, he? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I'm awfully sorry, but all the servants are out. But all of them? You shouldn't leave the house unattended, you know, with the front door open. Yes, and there are a lot of funny people about it, too. Yes, funny-looking people. As I was saying, camp of gypsies down by the spinney. Deuce and quail lot. So I warned your gamekeeper to keep an eye open, didn't I? Mm -hmm. well, what do you mean, of course? Not? Well, as a matter of fact, it's quite all right. I've, I've got very good burglar alarms here. Well, don't believe in them. Nine cases out of ten, they never go off. Ah! Get out here, stop! Surround the house! Surround the house! 
Bring up, please. Catch him right hand him. That's all right today. Testing. What? Testing, man. It's just... Oh. Well, goodbye. I'm sorry I can't oh. even see him. Come and dine one evening, will you? Oh, I'll be like it. All right, fine. Let's get it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for keeping so quiet. I'm awfully sorry. I'm afraid I touched something. Oh, that's all right. But I might get you into trouble. Oh, I don't think anybody heard it. You don't think anybody heard? What is that, Rip Van Winkle's grotto? Who were the guys that came in? Oh, they were just uh, uh, gypsies. I got rid of them. Oh, well, after all that, I think I'm for the wide open spaces, too. It'll be quieter outside. Oh, that's all right. Come on. Well, I'm glad the gypsies didn't steal our horses. Yes. Oh, it's good to get out of that haunted castle. Let's have a race to settle our nerves, huh? All right, I'll give you ten seconds. Okay. Darling, you all right? Hello, Bill. What's happened? The beast bolted and you took a tumble. You know, shivering. Are you sure you're not hurt? Oh, no. It's just a shock. I'm, I'm all right now. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Are you sure you didn't? Well, of course I meant to. But, but supposing I wasn't just a, a small farmer. Oh, but darling, you mustn't worry about not being in a good enough position. Yes, but now that you've seen Charlton Hall... And compared it with Thatcher's form. But you, you don't understand it. Uh, Darling, it's you who don't understand. I love you for yourself. You've never pretended to be anybody but what you are, and I like you for it. It isn't what a man does that counts, it's what he is. Yes, but... Darling, now don't argue anymore, or I'll think again. No, don't do that. Why not? I might get another kiss. It was even worth falling off a horse to get that when I came to. Uh, Sir Richard has just arrived, my lord. Well, what does he want? A dinner, my lord. Well, I didn't invite him. He says he's aware of that, but it must have been an oversight on your part, so he's invited himself. Oh, this is getting a bit too thick. Can I tell Sir Richard what I thought of him? Uh, could I have the pleasure of listening, my lord? <laughs> well, I suppose this is the best sherry you've got? Yes, Sir Richard. I trust it's to your liking. That'll do. Well, so you've had the impertinence to invite yourself to dinner. Oh, yes, I thought it'd do you good. You know, you're too much by yourself. You're getting delusions imagining you're a farmer's boy. You know, I'm going to tell you what I think of you. All right, and when you've finished, I'll tell you what I think of this sherry. Well, don't drink it, then. Well, I've got to fill in time. Uh, tell me, where is the beautiful Miss Lee? Well, she won't be here this evening. Well, then you, uh, you haven't told her who you are yet. That's my business. Well, good evening, madam. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Here uh, General and Mrs. Tukes. Miss Tukes. How do you do, William? We're not late, are we? No, of course not. Ah, there you are, young fellow. Nice of you to ask us. Ah, what have you got there? Sherry? Mm, that's the stuff. I've got no time for cocktails, you know. Why, Richard, I didn't know you'd been invited. No, neither did I. Would you like to take your clothes off? Thank you. There, that's there. You seem very happy tonight. Oh, I've every reason to be. Can you guess why? Has he? Has he told Of course he has, and so have I. If he hadn't had to go to Blackett's farm tonight, oh, I'd... Yes, he has oh, I'd have made him tell you himself. Oh. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? Of course I am, dear. But the... Now, I don't want any of your butts until you've heard my scheme. There's no money on this farm. No. So we're going to open a filling station. A filling station, you know, gas, uh, juice, uh, petrol, whatever you call it. There's a packet in it and Bill's nobody's fool. Have you told him? No, not yet, but I intend to. What time does the next post go? Half past eight. Oh, I've just time to make it. There. My resignation and the end of journalism for me. Don't post it tonight. Why not? Uh, well, it's uh, raining and... Uh, oh, I don't mind a drop of rain. Anyway, I can wear Bill's mask.
I won't be long. I'll take the shortcut through the woods. Just a minute. Oh, gee, you gave me a scare. I dare say. What do you got there? Well, I don't know. I've never seen one before. What is it? Fancy. Just found it lying about, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. And you didn't know you were trespassing either, I suppose. Who are you? Well, who are you? I'm gamekeeper to Lord Wilmer. Lord Wilmer? And your manners are just about as bad as his are. We're not here arguing manners. You're coming along with me. Oh, really? And where are you taking me to? First, we're going to the old to report and a nice little cell in the police station for you tonight. Say, who do you think I am? Why, a poacher from the gypsy encampment, of course. Oh, I see. And you're going to take me to Lord Wilmer at the hall, huh? Well, I happen to know that he's not there. Isn't he? Well, we'll see about that. Come on. The huntsman said it's not red, but it's ready. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, and I said... It's not ready, but it's red. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't funny, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't you think it's funny, Mildred? No, I've had it so often. Yes, James, what is it? Poacher, my lord, just caught with a long spinny. Poacher, my gad! <laughs> Thank goodness I shall be on the bench tomorrow. Brown, take him to the police station? No, my lord, he's here with the poacher. But it's One of those the... gypsies, I'll bet. I said so. <laughs> Look like a gypsy? Yes, sir, but the poacher's not... Ah, let's have a look at him. All right, Jim. Oh. Very well, my lord. But what I wanted to say was that the poacher's not a man, it's a... All right, you needn't hold on to me. Now then. Now then yourself. Where is this great Lord Wilmer I've heard so much about? Valerie. Bill. Oh, beg pardon, my lord. I didn't know she was a friend of yours. Oh, Miss Lee, uh, let me introduce you to Lord Wilmer. So the rumor about Thatcher's farm is true. Oh. What do you mean? Mildred, I think we'd better go home. I hope I'm broad-minded, but I see no reason why I should be called upon to meet the lady. How dare you talk like her? I'm going to marry Miss Lee. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, but Valerie, listen. You listen to me. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. I don't like cheap. You thought you were pretty smart, didn't you? Well, you had me fooled, all right. I was fool enough to even want to give up my job so that I could help you further your position. How you must have laughed at me. Yes, but... Well, the joke's on me. My resignation's gone to New York, but I'm going right after it. I've got a car outside, if you'd allow me... Allow you? Why, if I were drowning in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I wouldn't let you lend me your water wing. So you're here again. I thought I'd seen the last of you. But, Valerie, I've got something to say to you. Then say it to your ancestor, the Fifth Earl. And here's another book for your collection. Oh, oh damn! I've got some more time. I'll put another one in. It, it, it's all right, old boy. I've got her. Richard. Oh. <laughs> She's gone. Yes, and in my car. Oh. Now you know why I never want to see that guy again. Or England? Or Europe? Nope. I'm through with a whole lot. And you've cabled Mike asking him to ignore your resignation? I have. So you're running away from it all. I wouldn't do that if somebody had double-crossed me. No, what would you do? I'd get my own back and make them look a bigger sucker. Well, how can I do that? Well, he's here waiting for it. He's never been off the phone since you came back. I've got a little scheme in the back of my mind. There it goes again. That must be him. Will you leave this to me? Oh, I don't care. Do anything you like. Okay, Toots. Hello? Yeah, this is Miss Lee's room. Well, who's that? I want to speak to Miss Lee personally, please. I shall keep her a minute. He says he wants to talk to you personally. Sorry, Miss Lee's busy. Now watch me. So we sail tomorrow, huh? Yep, yeah, you and me together, pal. What about that pretty little nurse you had a crush on? Her... She's as false as they make them. But do you know that while she was taking my blood pressure, all the time she was secretly engaged to the house surgeon? No. Yeah. She was using me to put the matron off the scent. Oh. See you later. <laughs> okay, thank you.
smoking room, please. Passports in the first class smoking room, please. There's no message from Lord Wilmer, I suppose. Yes, miss. He said he loved you. Bill, what are you doing here? Well, you didn't like Farmer Hodges and you hated Lord Wilmer, so now I'm just a steward. And this is an eight-day boat. Oh, sorry. 